Hi everyone, it's me, April. We are going to do my haircut, kind of. Pretty much this haircut, I'm gonna show you how to get it. So I have several different thinning techniques up here, just really, really thinned out. It's kind of an A-line, but not really like a A-line, A-line. Just kind of the shape. And I can style this in a bunch of fun different ways. So she was nice enough to want to look just like me because I need to show you guys kind of how to cut my own hair because everyone always says, how do you do your hair? How do you do your hair? All the time. And I feel bad because I don't cut my own hair very much. Maybe like thinning shears in the back a little bit, but. So let's see. Let's see if I can do my own haircut on someone else and how it turns out. Okay, I think, I know I can because I've done it before, but this is how you do it. Yes, and if you're wondering why my lips are green, it's because today's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And I did this color earlier and I put it on another video and the link is right here. That's the link. Click on the link if you want to see how to do this color. It's red, even though St. Patrick's Day is green. Sorry, red and green, opposites. Good, all right, let's start with parting her hair on the side she's going to be wearing it to, same as mine. Awesome. And we're gonna go in the back here and just take a tea parting, so in the back section, just right down the middle in the back. And we need to take a triangle section back here and pin up the rest. All right, so we have this section back here we're gonna cut first. So we're gonna go in and cut the back. Hmm, how long's my back? It's right there, it's my hairline. So we're gonna cut it right to her hairline. Okay, look down. And then we're just gonna cut this Deep point cutting, pretty short. I'm gonna have my fingers right at the hairline, actually. There we go. And this is a pretty thick section of hair, but I need to get it out of there. There we go. And now I'm just gonna comb it all down to her neck and just trim out anything that's longer. Underneath, there we go. Okay, so that's the length in the back. I'm going to take sections vertical and just elevate them out. And this is gonna be round layers. So we're going to make this pretty round. So we're gonna just follow that around. So we're following the curve of the head. And it should be a little bit shorter right here in the, the very bottom of the neck. But then the rest of this should all be about, find that guide right there. That's about where we're cutting the rest of it. And we're just gonna go through this whole section and do that layer, that round layer throughout. And you should have a guide when you go to cut the second section from the first section that you cut. Meaning that you're taking half of the section you just cut and then adding a little bit more hair, pulling that up, and that's the section you're cutting. And then there you go, you can see that guide right through there. That's what you're gonna cut it at, just round layers. And last little section here. There we go. Okay, other side, picking up a little bit of that guide from before and following the guide up. Okay, so we have lots of fun layers back here now. And this is what we did with my own hair. Once we had those all layered, we went in with the razor and then we kind of just shaped out some of this in the back. Just 
shaving it out, thinning it, getting lots of different textures. Because this needs to have a lot of texture. It needs to be able to spike or lay in. Or be really smooth, like this haircut is so fun because you can do a ton of different things with it. And I'm gonna go through and just kind of razor out on both sides of these just a little bit with like a pencil technique. So I'm drawing like a pencil with this razor. And I use a feather razor. People ask me that a lot. What kind is this? It's just a feather. They're, they're pretty inexpensive. They're not ridiculous. And you just change the blades every couple haircuts so that they're nice and sharp. So when it starts to look really soft and there's not any more hard lines back here, then you know that you've done enough. All right, so the back's pretty much done. We might do a little bit more detail with the thinning shears when it's dry, but we're going to take down the next section. And it's going to be right at the top of the head. So like a tea parting would be, and I don't really need, you can see this pretty color coming through. I don't really need to use clips at this point anymore because I can just comb this forward and it, the line should go all the way across to both sides, combing this forward. So grab your shears again and we're going to be following those round layers up. So we're going to be working on this mohawk section of my hair. So we're going to grab this mohawk section, pull it out, and you have your guide underneath from the section you did down below. So we're going to go off of that. And we want to keep it a little bit longer, just kind of give it a little bit more of like a round feeling throughout here. So for now, I'm going to be going straight up from this because her head starts to curve, it's going to give you a little bit more length. So straight up. And then once it gets past this roll of the head where you cut, see, I've already cut to the roll of the head, then I'm going to start using that as my guide and rounding it out. So it gave me a little teeny bit more of the length on the top. And then you can go in and point cut a little bit because that's really, really blunt and my hair is not really blunt. But that's why we're going to need to do a lot of thinning to this. So I'm going to just keep doing sections like that. And at this point, I'm going to start pulling a little bit of the hair towards the middle so that the mohawk's a little bit shorter and we can leave some length on the sides. So just a little bit of an overdirect, maybe even point cut. Now that I have that guide in there, I can point cut a little bit more. All of this should be able to be done. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be the top. And I am leaving it a little bit long because when I razor it, it's going to be getting shorter and the, the long pieces need to be there to kind of have that really soft long piece that sticks out. So that's about right for the length since we're going to be razoring into it so much. So this is just the basic shape that we're cutting into it. So in order to keep the length in the front, I'm just kind of bringing up those sections to that middle section over here and point cutting anything that doesn't match up with the guide. So you can just keep adding to this section because it's already cut and then anything that's too long, you just can see it when you get up there. And when it comes down, we're gonna still have a ton of length down here. I'm gonna shape that out this way. So we're worried more about these layers and that's just about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the same side over here. Bring everything to that middle, that one's done. See all this needs to be gone. Pull up the rest. Okay, so that gave us some fun layers. And that's gonna be pretty round. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the mohawk section. All right, so these bangs, they're going to be getting cut because you're pulling it up straight. They'll be the right length because of this guide we have in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take another mohawk section through the top and I'm pulling it up and we're point cutting in. And 
And see then now you can see that these are still pretty long. We can piece those out later. But we're just following that mohawk line around and forward. So we're gonna do one more section. Okay. So just the mohawk, the whole entire mohawk section, I'm pulling towards the middle up like this and point cutting into it to get this length off the top. All right, so we finished this mohawk section and now we need to decide how we want the sides to look. Well, my sides are pretty razory and short. So we're gonna do that, the sides now. We're gonna go in here and start, you can see back here we have this guide where it's short. We're gonna pull that down and we're gonna just point cut this hair out. And we're gonna follow it around to the front, just chop off all of this hair. And I'm using really deep point cutting because it needs to look really soft and everything when we're done. Do you want it a little shorter like mine, or do you want to keep it longer? Um, okay. So we're even going a little shorter. And I am angling it, it's a little longer in the front, angling it back over to this short spot on the side. And we'll razor that out, it will get a little bit shorter. We're gonna go to this side, and I'm combing all of it over this way because that's where we're parting it and I don't want her bangs to go dry in a crazy spot. So I'm keeping those the way that they're gonna go. And um, they won't reach anyway because we already cut the mohawk section. So just comb it all over. So we're just point cutting with an angle forward, leaving a little bit more length in the front. And then you can pull all this back this way and point cut into it. And that will give you that angle too, just to make sure you're taking off that little bit of long piece behind the ear. Try that over on this side. There we go. Okay, so now for the sides, they need to have lots of layers. So you can see I have a lot of length and then I have really short. These don't really match up. Um, they match up but like in order to get this length and have it be blended, I have a lot of layers on the side. So it's, it's a gradual disconnect. It's not like buzzed and then just this long piece hanging down. So it all blends. We're gonna um, start doing that by pulling the piece up at the top that we cut. And we're gonna start over here on this side and then we're gonna pull this up. And we're gonna do round layers from that guide. So this is her longest piece. As we pull it up and layer it, we can see that all of this is too long and it needs to blend into the top. So there's a guide, there's a guide. We're gonna cut off anything in that's in between those two spots. And point cut it, because we're, like I said, it's a soft haircut, it's not really hard lines. So there's our guide and there's our guide. So everything in between those two guides is just getting chopped out. Pull a little bit more of this guide up so we can see. There we go. And I'm just working from the front right side back. There's that guide. There's that actual guide right there. I didn't quite go short enough on this section, so. This is the last section. It's really round layers. Once we get that shape into the, the A-line shape into the back and the front, then we're making sure everything else is really layery. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but 
On this side, I'm going to be starting in the back and working towards the front, so I'm just kind of circling around her head. This back section doesn't need it because we've already done that section, so we're gonna just start Start a little bit before where you think it would be, just to make sure that there's not anything that needs to be cut out. And I'm standing pretty much in front of her on the left side of her. And you can see there's the guide. And there's the top guide. We're just blending those two in together. Okay, now this is the fun part because my hair is razor like crazy and thinning shears and you name it to get all this fun texture. So we're gonna go through and razor it up. And we already did the back a little bit. I'm gonna start in the mohawk section because that needs a lot of love. So we're gonna start right back here and I'm gonna pull sections up horizontal. I'm pulling them straight up and I am just chunking out this hair. I want it to be really soft. And you know that you're going in the right spot when you can go like this and the bend of the hair is right there. That's about where you want to start razoring. So this is more on just the ends. And I really concentrate over here on the two spots on the head, right on the edges of the mohawk, right at the roll of the head. I do a lot of razoring right here because that's what gives me the really fun little rooster tails that I love to play with. So that's gonna kind of chop those out and give it a little bit more shape. So right here, I'll show you how I do that. I kind of just pull it up where I want the rooster tails and I really just razor in there a lot. And you can see when it's going to go, that needs a little bit more even. It starts to just do like a little bit of a curve, but still kind of poke out. So that's where we want it. And you can do more when it's dry just to get the little details in there. But for now, I know that that's probably good. And then, so I, once I get those where I want them, I usually come in with the razor back here and just start to razor some of this bulk out of the back. So this does need to be done on someone with really thick hair to get all of this different texture and body in here. Okay, so when it starts to look a little bit less... Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side and do that. So you can see all this cute texture starting to come out, just like I got. Okay, we're going to go over here. Once we get these rooster tail areas, what we want. So then we're coming back this way and holding it down and just kind of carving out the weight this way so that it blends forward. So you can see it's all light and soft now and kind of blends, goes forward and it blends into this softness up here. You don't want anywhere that's just like hanging heavy with this haircut. So let's keep going on the top now. We've done the back and these two rooster sides. So now we're gonna keep going through the top and just same thing, lifting the hair straight up in this mohawk. If you see little long pieces, you can grab them and carving out with the texture. Gonna be wearing it this way, so we gotta make sure that the bangs are gonna work. I usually pull the bangs forward where she's gonna be wearing them with this and just carve into them, kind of like we did in that back section. Where I'm not lifting it up, but I'm kind of shaping it out with the razor how I want it to look. And it looks really heavy right in here. See how it's just really thick, you can't see through it. So I'm gonna lift that up and then shave some of it out. Now these two sides right here by the face, they will need the least amount of like heavy razoring because there's not a ton of hair there anyway. 
This will just be more like to make it look cute and to detail it out. Most people are like that anyway. If you have someone that has really thick sides, then use it until it looks right, but most of the time there's a lot less hair over there. And by pulling it, doing it up this way and then pulling it down this way, I'm razoring on both sides of this section and it's gonna just help that mohawk come out a little bit more. All right, we're ready to dry it. There's still going to be some thinning sure and texture work and maybe detail work, but the basic shape is in there. Let's dry it up and I usually dry my hair when I do it like this in two spots, one going this way, one going this way, and then the front going down. So that's what we're gonna do, and the back's usually down too. And I'm round brushing just these front sides that are a little bit longer. She has some natural curl in her hair, so I really do need to smooth that out just a little bit and then I can go back over and get rid of some of the extra body with the flat iron if I need to. Okay, so now I'm going through with the thinning shears and I am even busting out more of this hair because it's still super, super thick. And this is really similar to how my hair is too. After I get all of this razoring and cutting in, I usually still have to go through with the thinning shears and take out some more so I can get these really fun textures up in here. And if you see any like choppy layer marks, bluntness, go in with the thinning shears and take that right out and I really really do a lot even when I get home sometimes in the back here this is what I do and I think this is how I get my a-line to look so soft is that I kind of leave it alone up in here but I really take the thinning shears back here and I just like I almost am cutting it again with the thinning shears but it keeps the line so soft and there are some long hair still so this is what I do to my own hair so I really do quite a bit of thinning back in this bottom, just this teeny little section down here just to get it to be a really soft, soft line. And if there's something really long over the neckline right here, you can take the razor and just clip it off. Make sure you don't have any like long neck hair sticking out. See like here, it kind of grows the wrong way, so you can just shave that off. Okay, I haven't put any styling product in it yet, so she doesn't have like little PCs, but we look pretty similar. Look to the right. Other right. <laughs> Other left. Okay, now I'm gonna turn her around. Pretty similar, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to style this up. I'm gonna use Enjoy Dry Wax. It's one of my favorite things. I love this stuff. You can use it for slicking back long hair on the front if you have flyaways, but I love it in short hair and these short, fun haircuts. It's a must with these. So this haircut's really fun to style because you just get to grab the hair and kind of pull it up with the wax. And I usually start in the back when I have wax on my hands because I don't want to get too much in the front. And you have these fun little pieces out here to pull out like I got. There we go. It's a fun haircut. And this haircut's so fun because you can change it so many different ways. I'm gonna do a video later on with myself showing you all the ways I can style my hair with this haircut. But basically, this is one way. We look pretty much the same now. We're twins. People won't be, we even look alike. Remember when we were in the store that one time and someone told us we were, they thought we were sisters? Okay, so another way you can style it is in like a fun pompadour and you just bend the bangs back up this way. You can texture them out with some pieces. And then if you do it this way, I usually like to tuck my hair on the sides behind my ear. It's fun, huh? 
hopefully you guys love it and do it on your clients and they'll request it and then you'll have people coming in wanting to do it and you'll know how. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you thumbs up my video and comment below if you like our hair because we have the same haircut. And if you don't like our hair, then maybe just don't comment and just give me a thumbs up because that's not very nice. But happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, see you later. Bye.